credit, the Anya Shabek, the Chick Boa, the Honda so, Sony, and the we're Wendat go people. To Jennifer McKelvey, and is now Deputy home to Mayor, many diverse First this Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the credit. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. You know, for many of those who live in or near Toronto, transit is a necessity. It's not a luxury. Everyone, our customers and our employees, should not only feel safe, but be safe while working and riding the TTC. It's also important that we do everything that we can to help those that are the most vulnerable in our city and on our transit system. The issues that we are dealing with on our system are complex, and as you've heard me say many times before, there are no easy solutions. That's why I'm proud to continue working with our partners, the Deputy Mayor, Toronto Police, our city colleagues, Streets to Homes, and now Loft, to address these challenges with compassion and ensure that we can continue to provide a reliable transit service. Safe, reliable transit is vitally important to the success of our vibrant city. It's considered in every decision that we make and every discussion that we have. I'm grateful for the continued support that we are receiving from the city. I also look forward to the positive impacts that these new measures in collaboration with the TTC, and most importantly, we're making sure that those who need support receive it. Now, before I invite the Deputy Mayor McKelvey to the podium and former uh, Commissioner of the TTC, I should add, I also want to recognize the hardworking people at the TTC who keep this city moving. In the last few months, I'd say they've been challenging, but I want to thank them for all their hard work. So with that now, I'd like to invite the Deputy Mayor to the podium. Well, good afternoon, and thank you so much, Rick, for everything you do for the TTC and keep our city moving and getting us where we need to go. I'm really happy to be here today with our friends from the TTC and our partner, Loft Community Services. And I would like to thank the CEO of Loft, Heather McDonald, for joining us today. And I'd also like to thank Councillor Shelley Carroll for joining us for her continued work with the Mayor's Office, pushing today's announcement forward and everything that she does as an exemplary member of City Council. One of the key investments Council chose to make last month in the 2023 City Budget was an additional half a million dollars to support a one-year pilot for expanding multidisciplinary teams on the TTC that provide mental health supports to persons experiencing homelessness. I was proud to support this investment along with the Mayor and the vast majority of councillors, and I believe the final vote was 25 to 1. I believe this is one of the important investments to help people and keep everyone safe that the City is making. The TTC is a crucial part of Toronto's infrastructure, getting people where they need to go and connecting our neighbourhoods. Unfortunately, though, the pandemic has worsened homelessness and mental health struggles within our city, leaving the TTC more vulnerable to these challenges. Now, more than ever, it is important that we work together across sectors to support Torontonians in need. Today, we are proud to announce our one-year partnership with LOFT. This partnership will work towards our common goal of increasing safety and support on the TTC. Working with the city's Streets to Homes teams, LOFT will be one more tool in our toolbox to help those experiencing homelessness. LOFT staff will join the 20 new Streets to Homes workers, 20 community safety ambassadors, and 50 specifically trained security personnel announced earlier this year to address the state of vulnerable people on Toronto's transit network. These new resources have already been making a significant difference in the lives of those seeking shelter on the TTC. Since January, Streets to Homes has referred 202 people to shelter space as the teams work to address the immediate needs of people experiencing homelessness. Streets to Homes outreach teams refer people to shelters, assist in planning for housing, help get ID and income supports, supply co clothing and home reduction supplies, and carry out important wellness checks. 
With Loft now joining this team, our city's capacity to help people will continue to grow. Loft is an expert in complex case management and facilitating access to health care to meet people's diverse needs. Loft supports individuals long after they have access to emergency shelter, specializing in one-on-one -on -one support with daily living, assistance navigating the health care and justice systems, tailored referrals to addiction health care providers and other social services, and expert in peer support for community reintegration. With Loft joining the team, I am confident that the accessibility and quality of our city support network will continue to strengthen. We want to help people. We want to help people get access to supports, help people have access to stable and supportive housing, and ultimately to ensure that they are on the long-term path out of homelessness. While the safety issues on our transit system are complex, this is one of the ways the city and the TTC are taking immediate action. I want to thank everyone who has worked to move this partnership forward so quickly. And I have every confidence that this partnership will have a lasting impact on the lives of so many Toronto residents across our city. I want to thank Loft for their hard work in joining us in our work to support everyone on our transit system. And I want to thank our partners at the Amalgamated Transit Union Local 113 and with QP Local 5089 for continuing to work with us when it comes to safety. And I want to thank all the TTC and all the workers for their ongoing work to keep transit safe and moving. Thank you as well to city staff, particularly the shelter support in housing for their work that they do every day to help people and to provide them with safe, safe shelter when they need it. And now back to you, Rick. Uh, thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, now I'd like to inv invite Councillor Shelley Carroll, again, a former uh, commissioner of the TTC, uh, to the podium. Thank you, Rick. It's sort of uh, once a commissioner, always a commissioner. You, you never stop thinking about the system and what, what it might need. So I want to thank Rick for having us all here today. I want, I want to thank the media for coming because today's the day everyone will actually find out what MDOT stands for. And everyone's been asking that for a long time. You know, it's it's no secret okay, that the pandemic affected all of us. Okay, an announcement from the City of Toronto, the TTC, about combating some of the challenges. Along the TTC, they're partnering with an organization that will help those who are vulnerable who travel along the TTC and will help to provide the necessary supports to them.